princess. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I just wanted to make sure you were alright. After all, you left the ball so suddenly. Is everything okay? Uh, I see. Feeling overwhelmed by all the crowds and the noise? I can hardly blame you. With all those suitors constantly hounding you, you've barely had a moment to yourself all night. You must be under a great deal of pressure. I can't say I'm surprised. However, who wouldn't desire someone as beautiful as you? Someone so gentle, generous, and kind, who rules a kingdom with such wisdom. You would be a fine prize for anyone, princess. My, this is a beautiful garden. I don't think I've ever seen roses as bright and lovely as these. Save for yourself, of course. You know, we always have quite an elegant garden in my palace. Moonbriar in full bloom all year round. Curtains of ivy. The sweet scent of lace flower and drifting lilies filling the air. You have to come and visit sometime. I would be honored, as will the rest of my kingdom. Hmm? Why so hesitant, princess? If I've offended you somehow, please forgive me. It's not that. Then, what is it? What's wrong, my dear? You've heard some rumors. Well, I suppose that comes with being a prince. What rumors are we talking about? <laughs> Come now, princess. Don't be shy. I promise I won't be offended. Tell me, what are they saying about me? So that's it. There are whispers about so-called dark magic at work in my kingdom. Hmm? It's almost unnatural, they say, and my populace is unwavering in their support. The way that other kingdoms seem to fall head over heels in their race to form alliances. Is that what you're talking about, princess? <laughs> ah, so that's why you've been avoiding me tonight. Don't tell me you believe these ridiculous rumors, my dear. Perhaps I'm simply a remarkable ruler. A prince like neither of our kingdoms has ever seen. Jealousy is an insidious poison, indeed. They will say anything to try and bring me down. But you, princess, I know you wouldn't believe them. You are far too wise for that. If anyone would be willing to look beyond the rumors and see the truth, it would be you. I mean, look at me, princess. Do I really seem like a user of dark magic to you? Come, really. Look at me in the eyes. Yes. Look at me, princess. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. That's it. Just keep looking. Listen to my voice as you keep staring into my eyes. Focus on my words and the sound of my voice. Hmm? What am I doing? Why, I don't want you, princess. I'm proving to you I have nothing to hide. There's no need to worry, my dear. Just relax. Yes, relax. Letting go of everything else except my voice and my eyes. Looking deeper and deeper. Ah, uh, 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 princess. No looking away. It's far too late for that now. All you can do is keep staring into my eyes. That's it. 
staring helplessly, unable to look away. You don't even want to look away, do you? No, of course not. You want to keep looking into my eye, listening to my soft, soothing voice. Let your body relax as your thoughts turn to mist, drifting away. That's it, princess. Yes, just relax. Drifting down, deeper and deeper, falling deeper into my eyes, deeper under my spell. It's useless to resist. Why bother fighting me when surrender is so much easier? Just give in to me, my dear. Give in and surrender. Yes, good girl. Sinking down deeper and deeper. Sink. Sink. <laughs> Finally, may I tell you a secret, princess? Yes, as you may have guessed, the rumors about my dark magic are, in fact, quite true. Why bother ruling with wisdom and grace? when control is so much easier and so much more fun. With just a few simple words, I can have anyone wrapped around my finger. And now, at last, I have you, my princess. I've wanted you for so long, until now, you were always just out of reach, like a jewel behind glass. After all, you were so cautious, so prudent, not like those other fools. You gave me quite a bit of trouble, but I've always loved a challenge. Now, with you under my spell, at last, our two kingdoms will unite, and when they do, I shall rule them both, with you beside me as my queen. That's right, princess. At last, you are mine. Now, I don't think there's any need to return to the ball, do you? After all, the princess has chosen her suitor. When you say we return to my kingdom, and there, we can make the final arrangements. <laughs> How I love to see that expression on your face. Beautiful and blank. It's such a good look for you, my dear. Still, something's not quite right. Deep down, some small part of you is still fighting, refusing to succumb. I can sense it. No matter, we'll get rid of that in time. Still, we wouldn't want you causing trouble on the journey home. In that case, Perhaps it's safer if you just sleep. Yes. Look at me, princess. Feel my words echo in your mind. Feel your eyes 
is growing heavy. You're struggling to keep them open as you start to sink down into sleep. Deep, deep sleep. Yeah. Shh, shh. That's it. Oh, my princess. It seems you're too exhausted to walk. No worries. Let me sweep you up. Now carry you to the carriage. There. Now sleep, my dear. Sleep. 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 Good. Sweet dreams, my precious. Princess.